Chief, can you tell me what are some of the most technological advancements about this brand new police administration building? Yeah, we couldn't be prouder of this. When, I, uh, when you walk around it, there's people who can walk you through here, our facilities management people that can tell you the highlights as far as it being a gold metal green building. Uh, and all of the things that you would like to see in your city and, and as you look to the future we'll probably have this building at least 50 years when you look at how long we operated out of Parker Center so we've got a building that I think that we can bring people in from all over the world and they're coming here from all over the world to see what LAPD is doing now and be able to show off any of our buildings and be proud that uh, the taxpayers of LA have uh, treated us very well here and we're very thankful for that. When people go to spend the kind of money it takes to put a building like this up or a new headquarters they go all over the country and they look at what the, the best practice practices are and, and the model buildings around the country or around the world and I think that we will be uh, the recipient of many visitors uh, because of the building that we have here today. Whether or not another city could pull this off, uh, I don't know, but it's absolutely beautiful. What was your whole take on the naming of the building, whether it should be called Parker Center? after the chief in the 1950s or whether or not to give it a name or to give it a different name? Yeah, my, uh, my own feeling is Parker Center was the building that we just left and we're now moving into a new uh, new building, a new era, uh, moving forward. Uh, I, I, I don't know that I would call this Parker Center again. I think we've been there. That, that was that building. I would look at this. I don't know that I would name it after an individual, to be honest. Uh, police Memorial Building, named after the officers killed in the line of duty in the past. And as we move toward the future, unfortunately, that's going to continue to happen. And in their memory, I think, would be uh, a fitting name. But I don't I don't make that call. That'll be the, the city council who will probably decide on those kind of matters. Now, you're one of the top candidates for the next chief. Right. Uh, they may be picking a chief uh, just as short as a week or two, maybe a little more. Uh, what's your whole take on whether an insider or outsider should be selected during this time? Well, you know, I think that there's... We're in a position now as an organization where we don't need to go outside to bring in new ideas or a fresh set of eyes. Things are working, and I think that uh, we have a great team here. We have good people. A lot of the candidates, uh, you look at them, and they could be chiefs in any major city in America. So I, I don't see a need to go outside. I think that the uh, message that that sends is that there was nobody inside that could do the job. Uh, I don't think we're in that position at all. So I, I'm optimistic we'll go inside. And naturally, I'm hopeful that I'll be the insider for it. But, you know, in any case, we have a great team, and the mayor has a lot of good people to pick from. Can you tell me a little bit about the application process? I understand there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of right. questions. Right. You as an insider probably have to go through all the same paperwork everyone sure. else does. Yeah. What is that like, the process? It's... Uh, it's it's challenging when you uh, the things we're talking about in the interviews the things that they address in the papers are things that you you live you do all the time so it's not it's it's not a surprise um, but it is it is a lot of work that you want to put your very best foot forward you want to be able to showcase what you've been able to do in your career what you bring to the table and what your vision for the future is so uh, in this case there were uh, five essays and uh, in the preliminary stage plus the application itself uh, I think 26 people total put in for it, and the uh, personnel department then narrowed the field down to 13. Uh, the 13 were interviewed by the uh, police commission this past week, and then they will on Tuesday announce that they've narrowed it to three, who the three are, and the mayor will get the three names, and then he'll pick one. Now there's a lot of wondering what impact the mayor has on those final three that are supposed to be picked by the police commission. Uh, are you confident that those three are completely picked by the com police commission board? Yeah, we've got a great commission. I mean, I look at the uh, the amount of hours and the effort and the time that uh, that the commission puts in. There's no other commission in America that puts in that kind of time and dedication. Uh, they're very serious about the job. They're very serious about the responsibility they're given. So I have uh, complete confidence that they're an independent board and that they'll they'll do as they see fit. Now, up until the 90s, the chief could be chief for as long as he wanted to be or as long as he had the support. Right. What's your view on having these two five-year term limits now? You know what, I, I think it's reasonable. I think five years in, uh, in a major city police department is a long time. If you're exceptionally successful to be able to get a second five-year term is fairly remarkable. When you look at the average uh, um, lifespan, if you will, of a major city chief is about two and a half years. So to be able to get a five-year term, that gives you enough time to be able to do the initiatives that you bring to the table. If you're fortunate enough to have things working in your in your direction, that you've been successful in, uh, in dealing with crime, counterterrorism issues, and, and keeping the, uh, the department as a model for the rest of the nation and the world, then I think you get looked at for a second five-year term, and, you know, and 10 years is a long time in this business. Thank you very much, and good luck. Oh, pleasure. Thank you. I appreciate it.